Russia is rejecting U.S. claims the two sides reached an agreement in principle to extend New START, their last remaining arms control agreement, casting doubt there would be an 11th hour deal before U.S. elections November 3. Hours after U.S. Arms Control Envoy Marshal Billingsley said Tuesday a gentleman's agreement had been reached at the highest levels to freeze U.S. and Russian nuclear arsenals and extend new start for an unspecified period, Russian Deputy Foreign Minister Sergei Yabko contradicted him, saying the U.S. proposal was unacceptable to Moscow. If the Americans need to report to their superiors something about which they allegedly agreed with the Russian Federation before their elections, then they will not get it. Yabko said according to Russian state-run news agency RIA Novosti. Billingsley, the top U.S. negotiator, said he ended meetings in Asia early to meet with Yabko because he was confident of a deal. It's why I cut short my trip to Asia and made a beeline for Helsinki when the Russians called and wanted to sit down, Billingsley said in remarks at a Heritage Foundation event. And I'm hopeful that that sort of gentleman's agreement, that arrangement I feel has been reached. As I've said, at the highest levels will ultimately need to percolate down through their system, so that my counterpart hopefully will be authorized to negotiate. U.S. nuclear weapons budget could skyrocket if Russia treaty ends the New START nuclear pact's demise could cost the Department of Defense as much as $439 billion for modernization, plus $28 billion in annual maintenance costs, the Congressional Budget Office said in a report published Tuesday. New START limits each country to no more than 1,550 deployed nuclear warheads and 700 deployed missiles and bombers. Signed in 2010 by then U.S. President Barack Obama and then Russian President Dmitry Medvedev, the pact would expire February 5 but includes an option to extend it for another five years without needing the approval of either country's legislature. In earlier negotiations, the U.S. team was focused on making China sign on to a new multilateral pact, but Beijing has refused to take part. Billingsley has since said the U.S. would agree to a mutual freeze of nuclear arsenals. On Tuesday, Yabko said, the U.S. position in favor of freezing has long been known to us, it is unacceptable to us. Not because we are against freezing, but because we need to deal with the problems of strategic stability as a whole. In other remarks at Heritage, Billingsley referenced China's nuclear weapons build-up and said it was controlled by a warmongering regime.